We're going to talk with the new head women's basketball coach at Eastern Illinois University, Lee Buchanan, and new head coach, Lee. You've been here for a while as an assistant coach, but now you're moving up. Yeah, uh, I spent five years here, uh, you know, working with Brady and as associate head coach, and uh, I moved over 18 inches and, and took the associate head head coach part out and just left the head coach. So it's exciting times, a lot, a lot of busy stuff going on right now, but it's, uh, I'm loving every day. It's uh, more than an 18-inch move, though, when it comes to responsibility. It really is. It really is. Uh, I know the day I got the job, I told my wife, I said, well, we just adopted 13 new daughters. So, uh, you know, it's an exciting time. It's uh, There's a lot of things that go on. As far as the basketball part of it, I, I feel over overqualified as far as all the paperwork and all the things you got to do as, as just an administrator as a coach a little a little more difficult let's talk about your team because you've got a lot of experienced people a lot of familiar faces you really had just one senior last year so ever, almost everybody's back yeah it's uh I, I guess it's a paradox it's great taking over a veteran team but you also can't mess it up you know i got to be really careful about that but no we've got uh We've actually got five seniors this year. Uh, uh, Hillary Held, who was uh, should have been a senior last year, was hurt all last year, so we redshirted her. So she's she's joining the other four that have been in our program since they were freshmen. So we're excited about that group. We have two freshmen, and then the rest fill in as our sophomores and juniors. So we, we only have 13 on the roster. It's a good number. It's a good practice number. It's a good game number. Try to keep everybody happy. So uh, the girls are working hard, and we're excited about uh, getting practice started here real soon. Hard to believe, but to Kenya Nixon is now a senior, and uh, once again, I guess everything kind of runs through her. Yeah, I, I, you know, everybody in the conference is glad to hear that she's a senior, except myself in Eastern Illinois. I mean, we, we she's a great person, as you know, very humble young lady, and uh, yeah, she's she's done a little bit of everything here. Probably the the two things we haven't done with her is she she's never been named Player of the Year in the conference, which is something you know we're going to try to strive for this year. And and then the other thing is try to get her to the NCAA AA tournament. So that's going to be important for us too. So, but yeah, she's uh, she's a little bit of everything. Does a little bit of everything for us. Great student, great person, great player. So uh, hopefully this will be her swan song. And then your uh, the rest of your senior group, very experienced group, and they fit in together pretty well. Yeah, at the two guard spot is Kelsey Wiss. Uh, you know, Kelsey is about 300 points short of a thousand. Uh, great shooter, uh, has been doing some wonderful things in conditioning thus far. So we're excited about her. Sydney Mitchell is also about 200 points short of a thousand points. Uh, great athlete, good score, can do a lot, a little bit of everything. And then uh, Mariah King, who's been here with us as well, uh, our center. She's 13 points short of a thousand points, so she's uh, she's going to eclipse that pretty quick. So, yeah, a great group of young women, uh, you know, good basketball players, great students. So it's it's an exciting time. Then you've got a, a slightly younger group that have been kind of bench players in the past, and are there new faces that figure to jump in and contribute here right away? Well, we've only got two freshmen, uh, you know, Elise Shumpert uh, out of the St. Louis area, and then uh, Danielle Wolfolk out of the Chicago area, and. Uh, uh, we're going to count on definitely, you know, because we do only have 13 in our on our roster. Uh, Dan, Danielle's a point guard, uh, really really quick, good with the ball, can shoot the three. Elise is going to be more like a Sydney Mitchell, like kind of a two-three in our system, strong, can get the ball to the rim, can shoot three. So they're going to have to step in and play right away. So we're counting on uh, everybody on the roster. People probably think we're nuts talking about basketball in September, but you're only a week away from the start of practice, right? Yeah, the new rule change has really helped us. Uh, you know, 40 days from the first game, which is, is September 30th, is the first day we can practice. So we're going to jump in the gym and get after it. I mean, we've been conditioning for about four and a half weeks already, so the girls are sick of that, and they want to they want to actually get the ball out and get going. So. Uh, and then we'll have approximately 30 days of practice within those 40 days and trying to get ready. And we open up on uh, November 9th at Indiana State. And uh, so we got a lot to do, still a lot to teach. We're not going to change the system a whole lot, but, uh, you know, we got to go, got to review and teach all at the same time. This group has like kind of knocked on the door to win the conference championship, get to the NCAA tournament the last couple, three years. They'd really like to take that final step here. Most definitely. And, and, and in some ways, uh, you know, I don't know that we're all deserving of things that we want in life, but this, this group of seniors, they've, they've been here, they've gone through the wars, they know what it's all about. And it would be a nice way to cap off a great career for them to be able to get them to the NCAA tournament. Won't be easy because some of the other top teams have got people back, particularly Tennessee Martin. Yeah, Tennessee Martin, you know, has, has gone two years in a row, returned basically all their players. Eastern Kentucky's been knocking on the door the last couple of years. They've got a veteran club. Murray feels like they're back in it. So, you know, everybody feels like they've got a shot right now. It's just going to be important that we continue to build and work and, and make sure we're at the top when it's all said and done. All right, Lee. Well, wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much.